Army some forces back in Somalia have advanced more than 40 kilometers from the capital Mogadishu. Some have been deployed to faraway regions like Baidoa in the north. As the mission continues to stretch to other parts of Somalia, more boots on ground and military hardware are required. AMISOM has been waiting to supplement the ground forces with an air force, and a nod by the UN Security Council came just in time. The timing is quite important. The air force has a whole host of obligations once they are deployed in Somalia, which is now shared and divided into sections by the troops on ground. The air force will have to protect convoys, engage the Al-Shabaab, do search and rescue missions. Amongst other roles are evacuation and the protection of infantry during battles. The Air Force contingent is mainly going to handle three sectors, that is Sector 1, Sector 4 and Sector 3, that has parts of Gedo and Baidoa. Baidoa is the second most strategic area for the Al-Shabaab after Kismayo in the south. After capturing and consolidating the Afgoe corridor, Amisom is now focusing its efforts on Kismayo and Baidoa. Could the, the remnants of our Shabaabs who are remaining, these, the, 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 the choppers will be helping on quick response. Even intelligence, helicopter, and then attack. So it will quicken the operation. Currently, Amisom comprises 12,000 troops, but the number is likely to be scaled up to 17,000 very soon. Franco Lissimbi, NTV.